Hi, good evening to Madam Nora Zuna and my fellow classmates. I am Shannon Audrey from S110. Would like to share with you heart touching movie, which is entitled Hachi a Dog's Tale, a 2000 heartwarming and inspiring family drama movie. This 92 minutes movie was produced by Richard Gere, Bill Johnson, and Vicky Shikaguni Wong, based on Hachiko by Kaneto Shindo under Grand Army Entertainment and Hachiko LLC. It was directed by Hase Holstrom. I'd just like to give you some background information about this movie. This historical movie takes place in Japan where uh, Hachiko was sent all the way from there to the United States by a monk and also at the train station where Professor Parker took the train every day to work and where Hachi waited for his return from work. Furthermore, this movie is an adaptation of a true story set in 1925. Japan about the professor and his devoted dog Hachiko. Okay. Firstly, let me talk about the characters. The main character is Professor Parker Wilson, that is Richard Gere. He is a music professor in his university. He had a lovely family which, with wife and daughter. Through this movie, he found a dog at the train station and brought it home, thus acknowledging the audience that he was a loving toward animals. Okay, next is Hachi. There are three actors trained by Mark Hardy and his team which are Milo, uh, Chico, and Forrest who play role as Hachi in the movie. Okay, as we can see Hachiko is a faithful dog and where he is always waiting for his master back from his work. Okay guys, um, now I'm going to show you the movie trailer. Enjoy. And that's where their story began. Hey, buddy, you lost? One chance encounter. You Who's at the train state? Sorry. The dog's already been taken. We like fireworks Whoa. and symphonies no exploding so in the sky. With you, I'm alive. I call the missing pieces of my day. What are you doing Finally here? Okay, now allow me to share with you guys the plot of Hachi Dog's Tale. This movie starts when Professor Parker on his way from work one night and comes across a lost Akita puppy in at the train station. He takes up the puppy and took it to Carl, um, which is known as Jesse Alexander, the station master, to ask if anyone has been looking for the puppy. But Carl said no, so Parker has an obvious soft spot for the puppy, so he decided to take it home until the horn owner claimed it. Parker's wife, Kate, which is Joanne Allen, is known to place with having a dog in the house, but when Parker insists that it's just temporary thing, so she finally relents. The next morning, she makes up a bunch of posters in the hope of of attracting the right owner's attention but no one calls. After a few weeks when it's obvious that Parker and the puppy had already from a strong bond get a lost the dog to stay permanently. After consulting the colleague Ken, which is Carrie Hiroi Kitagawa, uh, Parker decides to call the dog Hachi after the Kanji symbol for the number 8 on the dog's collar. Parker and Hachi spent a lot of time together and the dog can't bear to be separated from his master even even like when Parker goes to, uh, to work. It becomes Hachi daily routine, follow Parker to the train station, return home during the day and come back to meet Parker when the evening trains arrive. A few years later, Parker suffers a massive heart attack during a lecture and dies instantly. Hachi of course didn't know what has happened and can't be meant to understand that Parker is never coming back. The 
dog continues to show up at the station day by day wait for his master return. A newspaper picks up the story and people from all over the country send donations for Hachi's care. The dog dies 10 years later after waiting faithfully in the same sport for Parker to come back. So, the moral value can you get from this movie are about faithful and love. I can say like that because um, in a scene of this movie, we can see that Hachiko really, really loves his owner. Although he has known that his owner never comes back, but Hachi is still waiting for him on the spot near the railroad station. Hachiko's attitude can be a big lesson for us human beings to do not ever forget someone who ever loved you and gave much care for you. So do you guys know that the real Hachiko was born in Odai, Japan 1923 when his master Hidesaburo Yuno, a professor at Tokyo University, died in May 1925. Hachi returned to the Shibuya Chibuya train station the next day and next nine years to wait. Hachiko dies on March 1934, so today a bronze statue of Hachiko sits in waiting spot outside the Shibuya about the dog and his master to audience of all ages because this movie is not only delight to watch but it's tenderless lessons of loyalty, friendship, commitment and love as well as positive portrayals of family and marriage and leave audience with some important needs to discuss with their family. So my dear classmate, if you still haven't watched this movie, you should watch it now, okay? Thank you for watching.